In 2004, while we created the RoboSapien robot. It was a very cool little toy, and I had one lying around, and now that they're so cheap and accessible, I wondered if it was possible to connect the EZB robot controller to the circuit board inside to control it. Sure enough, I can. So this instruction will demonstrate how to connect that, how to do it yourself. I also added a camera onto it, which also allows your robot now to do other things, such as follow photos and understand colors, and a variety of other tasks too, including Wii controllers and joysticks. EasyRobot.com. Personal robotics for everyone. Here I have a joystick configured to control the RoboSapien. The joystick here will control his head. This will control his motion. And these buttons up here will control his arms. Now uh, here I have a Wii Remote. Hitting the home button will allow me to activate the camera with the accelerometer. And the joystick to control his motion. Using the built-in web server, I can connect to it through my iPhone and I can control him remotely this way. Using the speech control module, I can control the robot with my voice. Robot, move, reverse. Robot, stop. Robot, turn left. Robot, right arm up. Using a Phillips screwdriver, there's four screw holes in the back of the shell that you're going to have to remove. Take a peripheral cable and cut off the end and strip the black and white wires and cut off the red wire. Tin the end of your wires. On the version 1 RoboSapien, undo the screws and expose the circuit board. Solder the white wire to the pad on the back labeled IR and solder the black wire which is ground to the ground connection here shown in the video. To power the EZB, we're going to take power directly from the switch. Cut a small hole in the back behind the head to let the wires run through. Now let's put it all back together. Connect the power wires to your power adapter. The peripheral cable from the circuit board will plug into the D1 port on the EZB. Secure the EZB to the back of the robot with a couple screws. Now power up. Using the Easy Robot camera and two servos, I connected it to the shoulder with a hot glue gun. Now the robot's enabled to follow colors, faces, motion, and pictures. I've created a sample project located under File, Examples, and choose the RoboSapien V1. Here I have an initialization script which includes the, cam uh, the servo speed that's being set up to smooth the servos out for his uh, camera and to turn the camera on. I also have set up a speaker commission control, which includes a bunch of commands for raising his arm, lowering his arm, and moving his body. And then under the Wii Remote, I have that set up to move his camera. And the joystick is also configured here to be able to move his camera, move his body, and the buttons will move his arms up and down. To reverse engineer the protocol, I used the Sili Ogic Analyzer. I connected it to the infrared port on the microcontroller of the RoboSapien, and I watched the commands from the joystick. I recorded the commands, and then I reproduced them inside of the EZB robot controller.